Welcome back to Ocean Casino Resort in Atlantic City. Sean O'Connell, Kenny Florian, Randy Couture, and 170 pound welterweight tilt to finalize our playoff brackets here in the BFL. Second half of the regular season for the welterweights and the light heavyweights. Inside the cage, Gleison Chibau coming off a loss to his fellow Brazilian, Joao Zeferino. He's very aware of what needs to happen. Clinch is a playoff spot with a second round stoppage. Easier said than done against Rory McDonald. Absolutely. Hey, Sean, you know, I got to apologize to you. You said that me and Tebow had similar physiques. Now that I see him with the T-shirt off, you know, we definitely do. I agree with you, man. <laughs> yes, you're, you're dead ringer for yeah. the yeah. man who is built like the Incredible wow. Hulk. Randy, how do you, he said he needs to turn it into a street fight. How, how do you make it a street fight against Roy McDonald? He's got to keep his hands up, wade in, and, and let him go. I mean, he's just got to turn it into a brawl. It's not going to be fancy, no time to set up traps, to, to pot shot anybody. He's literally just got to wade through Rory, get in his face, and let his hands go. There's an individual watching this one with great interest. Right now, Magomed Magomed Karimov is the number four seed heading into the playoffs. If Rory McDonald wins, he will remain in that spot. If Clayson Chabout gets a first or second round finish, then he could overthrow Maga Millions. And his opponent, Rory McDonald! Okay. This is a crazy scenario. You weren't familiar with damned if you do, damned if you don't. <laughs> if Rory, if Rory wins, he will face Magomed Magomed Karimov. If Rory loses, he's either got Ray Cooper the third or Gleason Chibau, who would have just beat him. <laughs> so it's just one of those situations. Oh man. Where he, you're coming into a situation like this and saying, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the I want the prize money. I want the win. Oh, I get MAGA millions for my first playoff belt? Okay. <laughs> Tell the tape presented by Bose. Lace Chibau is six years older. He is significantly shorter, and you talk about a reach deficit, eight inches in the arm reach for Roy McDonald, only two on the legs. Lillian Garcia. And now it is time for your main event. And it is in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 5'8", he officially weighs in 170 and one half pounds. In 50 professional bouts, this veteran is, has a record of 35 wins and 15 losses with 18 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Rio Grande do Norte, Brazil, here is Gleison Tiba! His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a mixed martial artist. Standing at six feet tall, he weighs in officially 171 pounds. In 29 professional bouts, he has a record of 22 wins, six losses, and one draw, with 15 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, here is the Red King, Rory McDonald! Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Three five-minute rounds for our 170-pound main event. Rory McDonald, the Canadian, in the red and blue trunks. Gleason Chibau, the Brazilian, in the black and gray. Sir, are you ready? Sir, are you ready? Potential Fight. number one seed for Rory McDonald. Gleason Chibau, the southpaw, just wants a playoff spot. He'll need a first or second round finish to guarantee himself that. Hands looking quick, Chibau waiting in, trying to land a combination. Push kick there from Rory. 
T-Bell walks right through. Great footwork by Rory. Holy cow. He's just staying right out there in range, and he's got that eight-inch reach advantage to use to, to, to his favor. Absolutely. He's showing some great lateral movement. He's fainting, keeping T-Bow guessing, and he's getting him to bite on those feints already. Now, a big weapon for Rory McDonald in the past has been his jab. It's a bit more difficult to use against a southpaw, but look for that. He's using that right hand as his lead right now, as is customary in the open stance. Scoring with that body kick early. Spinning back kick there from Gleason Chibau. Yeah, and it's that front kick to the body that's going to really prevent an aggressive opponent from coming forward repeatedly. A few of those to the stomach, and uh, that'll take the wind out of you. Well, I like that little level change McDonald's using. Using that to make T Bow think it. he's coming. That sets his feet. T Bow with a nice left hand on the exit there. Yeah, nice short shot there by Glayson. And now Rory switches stances, goes back to orthodox. Left hand snuck through again for Glayson T Bow. Rory showing that footwork. Keeping his lead foot on the outside of Gleason Chibau's lead foot, hand fighting. Yeah, he's framing on that lead hand of Gleason Chibau, taking away that jab so he can set up that right hand. Mixing up the look there, switches leads temporarily. Nice hook. Little eye poke there. An exclamation from Glayson Chibau. Stay ready. I don't think people realize how much this hurts. <laughs> Kind of scratch looked like the right eye there. Yep. That's one of the dangers of that that pawing when you're doing that hand fighting, that framing with the open hand. That's something you get used to doing with when you're sparring with boxing gloves, and of course, uh, a much bigger factor when you have the MMA gloves and Glayson trying to breathe his way through this. He wants to continue to fight. Definitely see some redness on the right eye of Glayson Tebow, though. Let's hope he can continue. Yeah, Accidental eye poke. Glayson Tebow waving the doctors off, nodding. Says he's good to go. Keith Peterson will oversee the restart here. Redness in the eye of Glayson T. Bow doesn't appear to be overly damaged. Watch your fingers, sir. Dive in. Touch of the gloves. Right back to it. Nice left hand from Glayson T. Bow. That landed. Definitely landed. Snap single. Nice yeah. T Bell shrugs it off and goes to work. And here's the ball oh. T Bell's looking for. This is what he wanted. Rory turns, pushes T Bell against the cage. T Bell finding some good success with those combinations off the failed single attempt of Roy McDonald. You ever seen anyone try and wrestle a fire hydrant? <laughs> <laughs> I'm witnessing it right now. I believe the only opponent that Habib Nurmagomedov wasn't able to take down was Glayson Tebow, if I'm not mistaken. So Glayson's got some good counter wrestling. There's a lot of people who think Tebow actually won that fight. Yeah, it was close. Back to the body kick. Nice, nice front kick by Rory. 
There it is again. Tebow counting well for himself in these striking exchanges. There's ankle very slick. Oh, wow. and he takes the back. Rory McDonald initiates that exchange. He's going to that half Nelson to try to break down the position of Clayson Tebow. He threw the straight right hand as a distraction and reached for that leg and snatched that single line and followed through. And as Tebow reacted and sprawled, he went right around him and climbed on his back. Just chaining Remarkable. those together. The kid is unbelievable. I call him a kid. He's been in the sport for damn near two decades. <laughs> he started when he was a kid. Roy did a great job of controlling that leg, then tried to get the half Nelson in the back of the head of Clayson Tebow to keep that position. It looked like he was a little too high. He has oh, he's got it. Hook, and he's, he's got, got it in tight. tight. It's on the chin, but you can still finish. Tebow able to avoid the choke, but Rory McDonald, the Canadian backpack in this case. <laughs> Ten seconds remain here in round number one. Rory McDonald will ride it out. Separates on the kick. Round two next. Pretty flush. Left he, hand was look, bad. He's got a mouse know. under his eye now. Yeah. Welcome back to Ovation Hall at Ocean Casino Resort. Sean O'Connell, Kenny Florian, Randy Couture. Round two of our main event welterweight Are affair between Rory McDonald in the blue and red, Lisa Chibau in the black and gray ballet tutos. Each man had their moments in round again. one. Right to it goes wow. Rory McDonald and once again drags Gleason Chibau down. You see the FPR score gives the advantage to McDonald from round one. That is a very slick technique he's got right there, and he did it right off the bat. Yeah. Little move out of Frankie Edgar's playbook and uh, very efficient technique that took Tebow by surprise again. Body lock here for Rory McDonald. Pressing. PFL MMA is the only league with a regular season. Playoffs and a championship in the sport of mixed martial arts. Woo! Tebow shucks Rory McDonald off. The final playoff spot still potentially up for grabs for Gleason Tebow if he can get a finish in this round. Rory McDonald has already clinched his spot, but his seed to be determined. And so far, another body shot there, this time with the right hand from Rory. Third time, not the charm. t -Bow's best punch has been that left cross. Rory's got to watch out for that, slip that head off the center line there. Just like the straight right for a right-hander, that straight left for a lefty. Absolutely, it's been a battle for that all night, it seems. Oh! oh. Head kick, and T-Bow just eats it. Wow. <laughs> it was a right hand, right high kick for Rory McDonald. T-Bow shrugged it off. And that's the value of going to the body with that right leg. Rory's been attacking the body, and then he's been switching it upstairs, and it's hard to see it coming. Can't protect both. Gosh, the strength of Gleason Chibau on display with some of the defenses here on those takedowns. Roy McDonald is far from being a small welterweight. Yep. And just a one-hand shrug. Nice uppercut there on the shovel from Gleason Chibau. Ducked under the hook. Oh, 
Clayson catches a kick. He's landed that clean, but somehow Clayson unfazed by that kick to the head. there on the exit. Two minutes left for Glacian Chiba to get the finish and clinch a playoff spot. If not, Magomed Magomed Karamov, the season one welterweight champion, is in. Rory just has so many tools, so many different weapons. Puts it all together so well. Again, one of these guys that really came up when I was a kid training in mixed martial arts, training in it all. Part of the new breed, the newer generation of mixed martial artists. And I tell you what's fascinating me right now, fellas, is the fact that Rory McDonald's technique has pushed Glacian Chiba all the way out of his game plan. He put him on the defensive. Yeah. That's a guy who knows he needs points in this round, and yet he's still backing up at times. He's trying to feint. He, he's, he's just having a hard time putting any offense together. Well, I mean, look at this footwork McDonald's putting together. The side motion, the lateral motion, the, the straight right hand to the takedown. I mean, he's just done a great job of putting together and executing what he wanted to do here and not make it a brawl. You see it in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, Magomed Magomed Karimov, the frustration of him not being able to fight the first regular season bout because of visa issues as Roy McDonald tests another high kick, and T-Bow answers with the left hand. All would be worth it if in the next 30 seconds, Gleason t does not get the finish. That's why right Maga hand. in. Rory just so slick, excellent footwork. Looks like he, he's complaining about an eye poke for Glacian T-Bow. Wings a left hand over the top to try and finish here. And the hook lands late in round number two. Pouring it on, round three next. This one still up for grabs. Lacey Chibau now fighting for his winner's check. Rory McDonald looking at the number one seed in the welterweight playoffs if he can complete a victory here. That was a nice change. Got in deep on that single. Decided to, to ditch it and come right up with the knee. Fight, fight, fight. Ready, fight. Fight, fight. Give me fingers here. Let's go. Little conversation about the eye pokes there inside the smart cage. They get back to action. Inside leg kick there, Rory switching it up. Back upstairs. Nice combination with a right hand and a left from Gleason Chibau. Attempt from T-Bow. Oh, 
Rory McDonald is so disciplined in his motion offensively and defensively. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just meticulous. He's trained. He's not going to stray from the plan. You see him do the same stuff over and over and just do it flawlessly. He's done a great job. And there's been a few times that he's tried to take down Glacian Tebow. It's like him running into a wall. He kind of bounces off Glacian a couple times. That's the kind of tank that Tebow is. But I agree with you guys. I think the difference really has been the footwork for Roy McDonald. Smart feet, smart fighter, and Glacian just hasn't been able to get a beat, get a rhythm on him. Tebow still dangerous, a lot of power. That left hand still searching for the chin of Rory McDonald. Round three, halfway gone here at Ocean Casino Resort. Nothing doing on the one two, or really the hook hook from Glacian <laughs> yeah. Chibau. When you're built like a T Rex, it's hard to throw anything <laughs> other than a hook. There's another eye poke. Oh boy. That's undeniable. Yep. It's one of the unfortunate situations with four ounce open open gloves. Inadvertent again. No point deduction from Keith Peterson. <laughs> Left hand searching again there for Glacian Chibau. He's found some success with it. That's why you see the swelling on the right eye of Rory McDonald. Nice sprawl from Tebow. Nice change of direction by Rory McDonald. He didn't just back straight up. He started left, then he shifted right, and he got out of there, out of the pocket. Coming up on one minute remaining in this fight. Rory McDonald dancing around the outside of the smart cage. Right hand and the body kick is caught. <laughs> Tibau's actually had better success when he, when he goes second, when he's looking to counter, is when he's, I think, landed the better shots. Agreed. He's having trouble catching up with McDonald. Yeah. McDonald comes in to land a combination and he counters, he's scoring. Just really hard to set your feet and be balanced when someone is moving laterally conti continuously like Roy McDonald is. Tibau tries to chase something down here at the close of the fight, our main event. Waiting seconds, jumping kick misses. That will do it. Three five minute rounds and a welterweight affair. Display of sportsmanship and an official decision when we return. Main event in the books and we take a look at the Cajunomics stats bundle presented by Geico. Strikes on the legs and the arms and the ground and the takedowns all the favor of Rory the Red King McDonald. Strikes being powered by SMT inside our smart cage. How about that 22 miles an hour for Cesar Fajera and Emiliano Sorti and Ray Cooper the third cracked 20. Fighter performance rating brought to you by Rich Energy. All three rounds, according to the algorithm, go to Rory the Red King McDonald. With MMA verdict, you the fans get to be the judge. The global scorecard says 
All three rounds in favor of Rory McDonald, so some consensus it would appear in our main event. FPR says Rory, verdict says Rory. Randy, Kenny, ah yes, they also say Rory. Will the judges agree? For that official decision, we send it inside the smart cage with Lillian Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Cardo Urso scores the contest 29-28 for T-Bow. Judge Eric Colon scores it 29-28 for McDonald. And Judge Dave Torelli has it at 29-28 for your winner, by split decision, and earning three points in the welterweight division, Close. That's right. the only round I right. thought was close. That, that, that is, that's that is an crazy. indefensible decision. You can't make a case 